When you're jonesing to get in the water, it always takes forever. Hey, how you doing, Darian? Oh, Nesta, nice to meet you. Looking forward to the trip right now, so. On this episode of Perfect Days, we head to Nicaragua, the land of lakes and fire. Surfing has exploded in this part of Central America, and the country is poised to be a destination as big as Costa Rica in the coming years. We've just landed in Managua, and we've got a three-hour drive to the Rancho Santana Resort in a cute little town called Limon. So let's get rolling. I'm Darian Boyle, and these are my perfect days in Nicaragua. Yeah, it's on. Nicaragua happens to be part of the Ring of Fire. So as you drive, you pass several extinct and active volcanoes reaching up to the sky. Oh, wow, this is absolutely gorgeous. Yep, that's uh, what we, we, before we go to Rancho Santana, I would like to, to show you one or two places that are, uh, so you can have an idea of what Nicaragua is, you know, like, that, you know, Nicaragua is known by the volcano's lake, so this is one of uh, the places you can see both at the same time. Nestor suggested that we stop at the street market in Messiah, well known for having a huge selection of jewelry, sandals, and hats, all handcrafted by the friendly folks of Nicaragua. I think I'll make a few purchases. This is the old market in Messiah, the first market made here, but the, only the, out, the outside structure is the oldest. Everything in is new. Everything like from ceramics to woodwork or leatherwork, is, you could find it here. Do I have to change currency or can I use American dollars? You could pay with credit cards, you could pay with American dollars or Cordobas if you want. Yeah. Heaven! Well, credit cards? Let's go shopping! Yeah. <laughs> this purse? It's, 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 it's a little aggressive for my taste. Wow, that's a lot of ring. Obviously here there's a lot of crocs in the water because there's a lot of belts and bags. rainbows out there or what? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Darian, welcome. Welcome to Nicaragua. Welcome to Rancho Santana. Thank you very much. I've been looking forward to Surfer's Paradise, so I hear. This is Surfer's Paradise, all right. We've got two great breaks right here at Rancho Santana. Let me show you. Oh. We have a dozen other breaks in the nearby area. I heard there's some private ones. Quiet. Right here, Santana. This is a high tide break, OK? And right over here is Santana, the low tide break, OK? This is a left point break. It breaks at low tide. I'm ready to go. All Let's right. Plane. Let's go. Let's hit it.
One of my favorite things to do while traveling is to get out of the resort and experience local flavors. Well, people have been telling me about this little nook, this great restaurant called Yolanda's. It's about 10 minutes away from Rancho Santana. We're here, and I'm going to go test it out. Let's go meet Yolanda. Under here, three more days. When Perfect Days returns, we'll catch the tide at one of the most well-known breaks in Nicaragua. Tom gives us a tour of the beautiful Rancho Santana Resort, and my inner cowgirl goes for a ride. Heavenly. This is Ponga Drops. This is on Iguana Beach. The infamous Ponga Drops. The infamous Ponga Drops. What's on the bottom? Is it reef? Is it rock? Sand? It's a reef. There's a, a shelf reef. OK, there's no rock sticking up. Is it, it seems like it, as if it's a very remote place. It's not very easy to get here. I mean, we drove a little while on the dirt road to, no, to nobody, see the break. No, nobody owns a beach in Nicaragua but anybody can use it. The problem is access, and this one is very hard to access. Well, we're lucky, so let's go paddle out. Let's go. Tom, I've been looking around and I just see the spectacular vistas, epic surf, mountains, volcanoes, lakes, howler monkeys. I can see why you probably stayed around here for so long. Well, you know what I really like about Nicaragua? It's the people. The people are so friendly. That and the affordability to live down here. Uh, of course, like you said, the beauty, the great surf. This is a residential resort community. So we have people that live here full time, people that live here part time, and people that come here and just visit. 
And, and you have all the amenities as if it's a small town. I mean, I was looking for a massage yesterday, and you're like, oh, over there. Yeah, we have a massage. We have uh, an exercise room. We even have a store, a commercial center. There's a gift shop, a liquor store, and a cigar store, and a grocery store that has about everything you need. We have a medical clinic on the property. We have tennis courts. We can go horseback riding on the beach at sunset. And I see yeah. that the best way to get around are either quads or horses. Yeah, horses work. Yeah, to the surf, where we right. should go. That sounds good. <laughs>down if you're not on your toes but god when you get it it's a blast they call this red rosada it's a night left you know reef yeah so it's a kind of dog way but when when the way has a good side good shape you know it's like you get sun's better too it's, it's a kind of shallow reef but you can have fun too tides really affected it seemed that it was way better at low tide no really low tide it's a kind of slow and then you know mid tide very good yeah yeah you really have to be quick on your feet or you're going to go right into the rocks i found out right right you have to be careful with that because you can crash in the rock <laughs> yeah we have no crashing on the rocks <laughs> good session though yeah it was very fun yeah very thanks a lot of all the forms of transport in nicaragua horses are perhaps the most versatile and fun you see them everywhere, especially along the coast. So I thought I'd take one of these beauties out for a spin. Maybe we'll go check the surf. I'm going to ride Tonto right now. Oh. <laughs> it's Tonto. Cool. Ah. Let's go do a wave check. Good, how are you? Where'd you surf? Oh, how is it? Should we go surfing? Should we go surfing? When Perfect Days returns, we'll check out the scene in San Juan del Sur, and Jesse takes us to the classic reef break known as Popoyo.
welcome back to Perfect Days in Nicaragua. I'm Darian Boyle. Well, the famous saying goes, you should have been here yesterday. Papoyo Outer Reef, triple overhead, pros in town going off, not the case today. So we're gonna head south to San Juan del Sur and meet up with some of the locals. It turns out that San Juan del Sur is about five minutes by the way the crow flies, 30 minutes by boat, or 90 minutes by car. Guess what I chose? That was a killer trip. Good thing I have my sea legs. From the outer reef of Papoyo to San Juan del Sur, where there's a half moon cove, golden sand beaches, little boats everywhere. We're gonna check out the local flavor and meet some of my buddies. I first stopped at the Pelican Eyes Resort for lunch and to check out their animal sanctuary. Hi, Annie. Hi, Maya. Hello. <gasps> this is so great. She's adorable. <gasps> she is a howler monkey. Ooh. And she is about six months old and has been living here with Hi. us for the past four months. <gasps> she's trying to make a run for it right now because she's desperate to get out into the trees. The plan is to to um, rehabilitate her to the point that she'll actually be able to go back into the wild when she gets to be about a year and a half old. Oh, are there any more monkeys? There are. Let's go see them. Okay. This is Bonsai. Ah! She is a spider monkey. Hi, Bonsai. Tell me about this wonderful mission. We started as a veterinary clinic, and the goal was to provide services for the local community's pets, mainly free, and, free spay and neuters to control the animal population here. And then it's evolved over the years to a wildlife rescue center. How many animals do you have on site? We have oh. eight monkeys, one wild pig, a few geese and waterfowl, some turtles, about 150 domestic cats, a few domestic dogs. Bonsai's going, Richter! <laughs> Well, I think the most exciting thing we'll to see if little Maya will actually survive in the wilderness when you yeah. let her go. Yeah, that's the big hope. Well, I think it's pretty incredible about what you're doing here with all the animals, and they really need it to keep the species going. Well, good luck. Absolutely, thank you very much. I look forward to hearing what happens with I'll Maya. I'll keep you updated. Yeah. You never have a bad hair day, do you? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> this is as good as it gets. Yeah. Wasn't a bad walk to one of the most famous breaks here, Popoyo? Popoyo Point? Yeah, Popoyo Point. What, well, what type of break is this? Uh, well, it's the Rocky Point. So you can you can paddle out low tide, mid tide, high tide. Any tide. Yeah. Tide is your friend. Yeah, right. It's good to know that there's uh, like rocks, you have reef, you have a beach break down the way. Well, I think maybe I'll start here. <laughs> let's go to the point first. You want to paddle out? Yeah. All right, sure. let's go.
Nicaragua is nature's playground with perfect lefts and rights, reef breaks, beach breaks, waves go by unridden and untouched. Pura Vida. I'm Darian Boyle, and we'll see you next time on Perfect Days.